Good morning. This morning let's talk about the retirement exemption. In previous weeks we've looked at the 15 year exemption and the 50% active asset reduction. So we're going to focus today on the CGT retirement exemption. If you are an individual and you dispose of a business asset, potentially you could negate all of the capital gains tax on the sale of the asset if you meet certain criteria. First of all, you need to meet the basic conditions and we've previously talked about those. Uh, remembering those uh, are centred around your net asset value not exceeding uh, $6 million and your aggregated turnover not exceeding $2 million. The amount of the capital gain that you want to have disregarded must be within your retirement exemption limit of $500,000 in order to benefit from this exemption. And if you are under 55, the amount of your capital gain must be contributed to superannuation. It's also important to note that there is a lifetime CGT cap that applies to each individual across all exemptions and that uh, is indexed each year. It currently sits at $1.315 million. So if you use this retirement exemption um, up to the $500,000 limit, you also then have scope to use the remainder of that $1.315 million cap by taking advantage of one of the other exemptions potentially. Tracy Ferguson, thanks for listening.